38 minutes past the hour right now. Japan's trying to prevent a total meltdown, as we know, at their Daiichi plant. Uh, the Daily Beast website compiled, though, a list of where we're most vulnerable here in the United States based on safety records and the potential for disasters. And we just wanted to show you uh, where our nuclear plants are here in America. And you see we have many of them. But we want to show you the ones that uh, were listed as perhaps the most vulnerable. And the first one, uh, number three on the list, is the Limerick Nuclear Power Plant. This is in Nor uh, Pennsylvania, about 21 miles northwest of Philadelphia. And the deal is here in Limerick, Pennsylvania, is that um, basically you have about nearly 8 million people that live within 50 miles of this plant. Uh, number two is California. This is the San Onofre nuclear power plant. Uh, here again, this sits between Los Angeles and San Diego, and there you have almost 9.5 million people living within 50 miles of the plant. A lot of the risk assessment was just on how big of a population is near there and would have to try to evacuate if there was a problem. And just like the plant facing possible meltdown in Japan, this one sits, of course, on an open coastline near active fault lines, built though to withstand a 7.0 magnitude quake. And perhaps the most vulnerable plant, at least according to the list, is Indian Point Energy Center. This is in Buchanan, New York, Westchester County. And one of the reasons why is just how close it is to the city of New York, just 24 miles north of the city. And here you have Population Center only 50 miles away from about 17 and a half million people. Scientists say it sits near intersecting fault lines, uh, but that a major quake is not likely in this area. Again, though, the biggest concern and the biggest vulnerability is that if there was any meltdown at Indian Point, 17 million people in the surrounding area could be in danger. Now, speaking of Indian Point, it has two reactors, and they provide as much as a third of the power for New York City and its northern suburbs. But Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York has now ordered a safety review of the site, saying that we may have to get that power from somewhere else. Take a listen. I understand the power and the benefit. I also understand the risk. And this plant in this proximity to New York City was never a good risk. Now, the company that operates Indian Point says it was built to withstand a larger earthquake than one the region has never seen. But again, the biggest concern is that there are 17 million people right. living in that near vicinity, the 50-mile vicinity, that perhaps or theoretically may have to evacuate.